All right, so there are only six required hits on this stage. However, there are another six bonus targets that you can engage for a 10 second bonus each if you want to and if you're able to. The required hits are first you get in the back of the truck here. We have two little targets that are maybe 100 yards down to the base of the canyon. From the truck bed, you're required to hit them each twice without double tapping. So hit one, hit two, hit number one, hit number two. Then back up on the ridge and the ridge behind that are three bonus targets with little orange cones. So I'm going to figure we'll probably have those circled because you're not going to see them on the phone. You are able to take a shot. You're, you're able to hit each of those once for a bonus on each one if you want to. Then when you're done attempting that, you get out of the truck and come down to these little sandbags. You hit the two targets at the bottom again once each, and then you have one more opportunity to hit the three bonus targets. So maximum, minimum hits are six on the little targets down there. Maximum hits would be 12, which would give you 60 seconds in bonus time. One to its left. Hit! Moving on. Hit. Hit. All right, so same two. Hit. To the left. Hit! Oh.
time, right? All right, I'm kind of funned out here. All right, earlier on, I heard the, I was like, hey, this heat's not that bad yet. Yeah, it sucks now. Oh, I'm done. a lot. I'm kind of done. No, we still have one more to do. My brain is mushy, and I went to go shoot, and I'm like, um, yeah. Time to shoot now. Hey. It's kind of where we're at. Um, this is where it gets in the afternoon. We ate lunch. Food doesn't help, and it is now 100 in hell, or whatever it is. <laughs> it's hard. It's actually cognitively difficult to think. That's a problem. You should drink more water. I'm okay. I'm not, I'm not like at that point, but we're seeing people making mistakes that they wouldn't normally. Like there was a guy on the VTAC just got barely, he just got confused. Like he's like, what am I doing? Like that really gets to that point. What am I doing? Right there here. So this one, this is the long range stage really, I guess, unless there's another one. And this was the longest range. Those bonus targets were at 290, 295, and 400. So essentially 300, 300, 400. So on that one, you start from the truck, like you said, and you get, you get the two, one, two, one, two. And for most people, I think those bonuses are, they're 10 seconds each. And I think most people would be better off not even attempting them. You've got 100 yard targets or less in the 80 to 100, something like that. And if you just one, two, one, two, 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 do that. You could try that. Yeah. Uh, I think if you just shot those six, that'd be the fastest way to do it. I was, it'll be clear in the, the video, which we haven't seen yet, but I think you made a little bit of time for all the six, but not a lot. And I obviously lost. This was a hard one to film, guys, so if you're watching this, you're like, it's hard to see what's going on. I'll try to make it as good as I could. You already saw it, but it's very difficult. These long range stages are very hard to film. Yeah. So um, they did have little flashers on there, and the 30 cal bullet and Warhart were good enough to set the flasher off. That was really cool. That was yeah. nice. So you knew what we did it. It wasn't us just, was that a ding or not? Yeah. So when I looked at this, I, the first, the, the, the up close, well, the mini up six were like 150. I thought they were more like one. Oh, okay. One, two, one, two. That wasn't a problem. I actually used the ACOG entirely for this because I didn't use the LMR at all. Okay. So finally we're down to the ACOG. Then I'm like, well, you know, those two bonus targets are at three, and I knew my dope was going to at three. I knew where, it, where, I did, where to aim with the VZ. So I'm like, it might be faster not to try, but I'm like, why not? Like, it's like their targets there of opportunity to try. I did get both of them off of the truck, got down onto the ground, shot my one one, and then I went and got the other two at the two at three. The one at four, I wasn't going to bother with. With Wolf, 762 by 39 on this, I'm like, I don't even know. Yeah. I just left that. That guy got away today. It was his lucky day. <laughs> now, you got, how many bonus? You got four bonus? I got four of them. I got all three from the truck, and then I got one before I talked about it below. What was weird for me, and this is kind of what's taking the fun out of his day at this point, is I don't know what's up with my zero, but something is, because I'm having to hold between a foot and two feet below the close range targets. At first, I, was, I zeroed this at 50 and then confirmed at 200. Yeah, and my first thought a couple stages ago was, oh, well, you know, the bullet's going to be high at 100. Maybe that's it, but it's, like, too high for that. It ought to be a couple inches high, not a couple feet high. That's really weird. So, for the 300, those the 300-yard bonuses, and even the 400, those were easier for me than the close range. Because I was able to put it on, this thing has a BDC in it, or, well, has a reticle line, so I was able to put, like, the center of the target was between the three and the four line. And you were there. And I was making hits oh. without any trouble. Oh. Those close range ones, I'm blasting away below it, and the sand down in that wash is fine enough that I was having a really hard time telling, was that shot high or low? Mm -hmm. Left, right? Was it left, low? Was Couldn't it see your just splash. low? I, it was just a cloud. Yeah. So that got really frustrating. That's not a closed bottom, is it? For the uh, flash hider? No. No, but I never had trouble there. Okay. Right. Yeah, dust, dust signature from the flash hider was not a problem. Well, I mean, I, I was 69 seconds with four bonus, I think, and you were 150 with four. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to that say. That pretty much says it right there. This is the one, it's okay. Again, like, if, we'd, if we'd had our what would Stoner do card games, oh, yeah, we yeah. both would have done substantially better. Yeah, yeah. But, so. in, but in, the, in the interest of in-rangeism, which is something we do, we do this kind of stuff. Sure. Here's my advice. Buy a $200 red dot and $400 worth of magnifier instead of a $1,000 aim point and a... Or what, ACOG. Or a, ACOG and a, what, $500 RMR? Well, I told you this was a stack that was for our IAR project, That's so fine. this was already purchased equipment. Yeah. But I agree. I Don't mean, go out and buy it if this is the sort of thing I'm that you're trying to shoot. I'm going to go ahead and say that. You know, when the ACOG came out, the ACOG was a really impressive thing. The ACOG still is. Yeah, it, it's a magnificent quality piece of equipment. But it's, it still is impressive from back then. Yeah. Things have changed. 
a thick 4x optic, even a high end quality one like the ACOG, and stacking this on top of it just isn't as good as the other options you have on the market. Yeah. When you can get a variable like the Trigicon 1 to 4 or 1 to 6, which gives you an incredible 1 and a really good 4, really good 6, and you don't have this stack offset stuff. Or, or, like you said, a good red dot with a good magnifier that gives you 3 or 4x. Or a 1x, 4x. Yeah. Even this is better than that. So, I'm, I, I'm going to say that the modern, modernizing the VZ 58s may be a thing. The gun's capable of a little more than one would expect. I mean, the gun's handy, it's hanging. Yeah, those 300 yard hits are 300 but yard hits. If you just want a standard red dot, maybe a magnifier on that thing. I think it would have been even better. Or a 1 to 4 variable power. I, I concur. That would have been better than that stacked. But, but the VZ's hanging in. The other thing that people aren't maybe going to see on film that I highly recommend, especially if you're down here in the southwest, some sort of better handguard. That oh, yeah. thing gets super freaking ridiculously hot really fast. These are the traditional standard handguards. They do have the heat shields in them, and they are super duper hot. I had to work off yeah. today. It was like Sturmgewehr hot when I was on the stage. I don't know what improved handguards exist for the VZ-58. I don't know if the fab ones were there, but they weren't good. Wrap a freaking rag around it, anything. You know, actually, uh, it sounds to rifle me, so I think they still do that. That the heat, yeah. that heat wrap on it would be a good idea. Yeah. Anything, anything would help that. This thing gets really hot. Yeah. Yeah. Worse than an AK. Uh, a crap load of paracord wrap around that would help it. Worse than an AK. Maybe it's just because of the material. Yeah, I think it's the material. Probably the material. And anyway, it's thinner than AK handguards. Anyways, uh, nothing, no, nothing's really gone dumpster fire with the VZ. Stages no. have been okay. No, my match has been mostly dumpster fire. This has not been time. the best for you. The first yeah. stage was fun. Yeah. The second was a lot of fun, and I did fairly well on it. Mm -hmm. The third stage was Punch. not fun. Fourth stage was also... Yeah, it's not the stage's fun. It's... Reason, well, well whatever's going on here, I would say that the stage design on 4 was pretty good. Cool. Yeah, stage design was fine. The fact that you have a choice between bonus or not and the bonus were really of dubious value. It's like, if you don't get them fast enough, you're actually wasting time. Right. 10 seconds per is like... A lot of times at these matches where those kind of things are traps, it's something to think about when you strategize. I just, I just knew my 300, so I was going to give it a whirl. Yeah. All right, guys, we've got one more left for IDAR 2018, and to be honest with you, uh, I think both of us are happy for that. Yes! Hooray, we're almost done. We almost get to go home. Starting to get that faint, it's too hot headache. That's that's the, the prize I'm looking for on the prize table now, is getting in the car with the AC and going. Yep, so one more left. Stay tuned for that next stage. Thanks.